Hey everyone, Bethany Siggins here, Image Consultant and Style Coach. Thank you for joining me today in the continuation of the February series based on creating space. So today we're going to focus on creating space based on quality. Right out of the gate, I want to be clear that this is not a video about you having to spend all of your extra income on expensive designer clothing. That's not available to most of us and not realistic. But what I, I do want you to think about is bringing an awareness to your wardrobe and thinking about it from a quality standpoint. As we age, obviously, hopefully, most of us are maturing and we don't consume the same things that we used to consume or that we enjoyed. We don't watch the same movies we did when we were 20. We have um, better quality films that we're enjoying. The same thing with our books. Uh, what we consider to be a nice restaurant in our 20s might be just sort of middle of the road to us now in our 40s and beyond. So bringing that awareness of quality to your wardrobe as well. We don't have to continue to support the same uh, businesses that we once did in our 20s. And so what I want you to do is think about that and to remember the lesson that we learned from 2020, which was that less really is more and quality over quantity. We realized last year we don't need all of the things that we were filling up our homes and our closets and our time with. So we are a little more aware of, you know, the, that actuality that we are ready to move forward a little more consciously and spending our time and spending our dollars in places where it really matters. So the garment industry, I'm afraid, is full of sweatshops and it's going to be impossible for us probably to have an entire wardrobe of things that were um, somehow avoided those things even our larger name brands, they might be contracted with a certain uh, factory, but that factory could be some subcontracting to a factory that has substandard um, uh, positions and uh, work practices. So we get overwhelmed and then we think, well, I can't, I can't fix that, so I won't make any changes. And of course, as we learned from last year, there are huge problems that we can't solve just by ourselves, but we can do our part. We definitely learned that last year. So let's just do our part where it comes to our wardrobe and think about one thing that you can change. Okay, so I'm not going to shop at blank anymore for my apparel. So find something like that. Find a pledge that you can make for one retailer. And then from there, you can start making other changes. I have always been big on the secondhand apparel market, even before it was in vogue. And I'm showing you a rack here of just a small fraction of my wardrobe, all of which came in the secondhand market. So that's a huge place that you can start focusing. If you're a little weirded out by somebody already having worn a piece, I will assure you that there are a lot of new with tags on sites like The Real Real and Luxury Garage Sale and at your local secondhand shops. So that could be another step that you might take after you've made your pledge to stop shopping at for certain brands and certain stores that you know are making more egregious errors in the apparel industry. And then I would say, look for your local artisans. I'm wearing jewelry that's been made by um, some local designers and there's a piece back here as well. I know these people and I've bought from them. And so when you shop local and you shop small and you shop from an artisan who's made that pair of socks or that scarf or that mask, um, that bow tie, those napkins, you are forwarding their dream and you are actually helping them pay their bills. When you go to a big box place and you spend your dollar 
where is that really going? And what kind of difference does that really make? So try to find local artisans that you can um, support and really further their dream and make a, a real difference in their life. And if you want to educate yourself, I've started this book. It's not super new, Fashionopolis, Why What We Wear Matters. If you want to be a little bit more woke about what's going on in the garment district uh, industry and what's been going on for a very long time, sadly. But so go to your wardrobe, start removing those pieces that are no longer at the quality standard that is at your standard. And just know that better can come in. We don't need all of the stuff. Remember, I told you that your creativity will kick in. You'll find other things to wear. And just enjoy the removal process, the purge process in this creating space because you are just really lifting a heavy burden from yourself, from your wardrobe, and you could be passing garments along to people who are truly in need. So that's my lesson for this week. We'll wrap it up next week and just remember that you are amazing just as you are. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.